I mean, it is a slick ass weapon. It's so good. It's so Well, I mean, good. it has range. It has. Hey! hey welcome back, guys. <laughs> you <laughs> to know, another... it's long, slender, and. Uh... Long, slender. And uh, seductive uh, episode. Pencil, dicky ish episode of Why Not Play. Whoa, I'm Lewis. I'm Mike. And I'm Pedro. Cut the okay, glass. Cut okay. The glass. Now, you're saying whoa, but hear me out. That pole arm is big. Long. But it's only big in length. There's no girth behind it because it's just thin gecko ass. It's get it's thin tiny gecko arms. It's like about ten of them together. But they're not. But there's no girth behind it. They're just literally stacking on top of each other, uh, like two so kids it. trying to act like an adult. Yeah. You know, as much as they show that in old movies. I honestly can't see that being practical. Oh, and it there kinda, you go. It kind of killed me inside a little. To see that working? No, to no to realize that you could never, you could never get away with getting a friend of yours, grabbing a big ass trench coat and top hat, in. and sneaking into a movie that you're not supposed to be watching, and just being like, one ticket, please. I'm clearly an adult. I mean, you could nowadays, because people don't check ID no more. No, they don't check ID anymore, but I'm talking about the old classic feel of actually sticking it to the man who couldn't let you see what you wanted to see because oh, yeah. my ratings. But no, yeah, yeah, no, these days you no. can totally fucking get away with it. Exactly. I mean, if you look old enough, then you can get by. You can fucking watch an R-rated Honestly, if you're movie. tall enough, they don't care. That's the best part. Yeah. Because that's how people just go, that's how people look at you. If you're tall enough and you have enough facial hair. Yeah. Because like, there's a the thing. You could be tall, but you could be like straight up baby face. Yeah. And then they'll, they'll look at you and be like, uh, excuse me, sir, I need to see your ID. And like, but oh, don't you see right how tall I am? Right here, sir. You know, hearing that voice, that actually reminds me. Yeah. Uh, Matt actually got to see an epiphany moment uh, a few days back with me. Really? Yes. What was that? Uh, she got to see... No, she got to hear. She got to hear that there are people who have worse off voices than I do. Really? Yes. Did she not think that? Well, he isn't I don't believe that she did. Because, uh, because, uh, <clears throat> you can tell the world is small, apparently. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> like, because, because obviously people at home, like, you can tell, like, I have, like, a higher pitched voice than most guys, but you can still tell that I'm a guy. Right? Right? You're not uh, like those people we played online with that thought he was a girl, right? Or, or a QT femboy trap. <laughs> <laughs> that wanted it in his QT boy pussy. <laughs> but, uh... But enough about Mike's online life. Anyways, the point but, uh, is... The point is, so, uh... So, we went to a Chick-fil-A after going to the gym. I wasn't feeling good, so... She was the only one who did anything while I coached her. We went to Chick-fil-A, we both got something light. And then we, and then, uh, there's this kid there. He looks like he's, uh, maybe 14, like somewhere between like 14, 16 years old. He's all dressed up like he just got out of a prom or some shit. Oh yeah, that's right. That's and, uh, yeah. and, uh, we hear his voice. And no lie, I heard his voice without looking at him and I thought a girl was talking. I legit thought that a girl was talking. And then I turn around, and I'm like, who the fuck is this person? Who, like, who does this voice belong to? Because it sounds way too girly. I look, and I see it's the kid. It's the teenage boy. And you, and, and it's not a boy who's trying to look like a girl or anything. Like, straight up. It's just up, a boy. It's a boy, and he has the highest pitched girl voice I have ever heard. And then, and then I'm just looking at Nat, and she's just like, Mike. I'll talk. I'll talk after we get to the car. <laughs> he leaves, and she's like, "Oh, thank God, I could talk earlier." Oh my God! <laughs> You're just like, Whoa. and I'm just like, "There, you see, you see the proof." And she's like, "Yeah, yeah, no, I see, I see, yeah." There's people worse off than you. Wow. 
It, it, it's just, it's fucking priceless. It is. It's priceless to see Nat's reaction to things sometimes. Oh, yeah. It's just, it's cool. I mean, I still love the reactions that you told me that she had when you actually sat her down. To watch And she Jack. got to watch the first episode of Samurai Jack. Oh, yeah. That was, that was hilarious to hear. Oh, yeah. I wish you saw more episodes. <laughs> Woo. I'm sure that she'll, there you go, Paige. I'm sure that she'll see more episodes. No, you know what's even better? What, what's that? We told her that it was gonna be the final episode uh, yesterday night. Uh -huh. Like, wait. So the creator himself confirmed that it's only gonna be ten episodes, and we were like, yeah, straight up. This is the last episode tonight. The final season. No more Jack. It's like, oh wow. Yep. Oh, and then she's like, huh? You know what? I feel like actually watching the rest of Jack, because I didn't get to see all of Jack. I need to go back and yeah, watch it. Yeah, that's something I got to do before Season 5 aired, and yeah. I am completely happy that I did, because it reaffirmed to me that, no, yeah, Jack, is that cool. Jack has always been good. Yeah. But I always wanted to see where it's like, like... Was it truly as good as I remembered it in my head, or is, is or, would like it, or would it be where? like a little faulty? But then I can appreciate what it was for its time, and the answer is no. Jack is just fucking amazing from start to finish. Oh yeah. Now, if people now, when it comes to saying that towards season five, that's a very debatable thing. Especially the last episode. Holy yeah, shit! Yeah. That just look. I feel like the last episode. Oh shit! Yeah, there you go, son. You thought it was over! <laughs> but, uh... But, uh... Where am I going with this? So, the... I kind of feel like the one way that the like the finale to the entire series could have ended better was if they actually went through and gave it, like, a 40 minutes. Like, just gave it more time. Yeah, like, if they gave it an hour-long finale... That would have been... To pretty much wrap everything up. Yeah. It would have felt better paced. But obviously, since they tried to... Since they had to finish everything within the 20... The 20-something 20 minute time frame that it had, there's not much that you can do. So it's just like... For what it was, it was I, I enjoyed it. I thought it was a good ending. It could have been better. Oh, yeah. It, it could have been better, but... There's no denying it. it but overall, been overall... From Did you hate it? No. Yeah. But, oh, but it's like overall, from start to finish, thinking from season one to season five, I wholeheartedly enjoyed Samurai Jack, and I'm perfectly... I'm content and happy knowing that Jack is finally finished. Yeah, that exactly. It, his story is over. Now, if you guys are expecting some light spoilers in this episode... Nah. Nah, it's too fresh. Yeah. It's too fresh. It's we too literally fresh saw the finale yesterday. Now, if we want to be realistic, we actually saw the finale like a few hours ago. Nah, it's... Not it even was not yesterday. Not, not even 24 hours, but enough time has passed. I mean, you guys got to my house relatively early-ish. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, relatively early-ish. Yeah. It was like around one, dude. I mean, you guys didn't end up leaving till like almost or five or. in the morning. Yay! You're right, you're right. I wish I didn't well, have to work. But, <laughs> <laughs> but we had some fun, we had some fun. We got to see some shit. Oh yeah, of course we did. It, it, it was a good time, and it, it definitely made my day feel better. Yeah. With the fucking Bullshit of yesterday. <laughs> get him, Paige. Get him, get him, get him. Hook him up. End him. There. Done. Explosion. Oh. <clears throat> cool guys don't look at explosions. They turn <laughs> their heads and walk away. Okay. <laughs> All right, go okay. ahead, Paige. You're good. You're, there's no more surprise. Yet. No, no, no! Don't worry, don't no, worry. No, don't worry. They're, they're not gonna throw any more bosses at you. They're they're done. They're done. If, they, if they're gonna throw any more bosses, oh, yeah. get to the center. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah. The same regimen you went through in Liberia. Effective. Just look how you turned out. Oh, wait. Oh, that's that's what it is, right? Yep. I love Southern Crispy Freeman. All right. He needs to play more southern characters. It's he hilarious. Does. Because when he sounds he like a southern he dick... He needs to play... To the brain. He needs to play more southern characters, and he needs to play more geeky characters. Well, right? Maybe dream is the wrong 
I actually remember okay, an anime where he actually played like this like down geek? on yeah a straight up down on his like geeky teacher. But the plot twist was that he couldn't. The, uh, the one school in his district where he lived uh -huh. would not hire him. Fucking not why? because of credentials, not because of that. They are an all girls school, even the teachers. Uh, so what do he do? Bam! Fucking cross dressed to fucking work there. Are you serious? I am not kidding. And he got away with it? Yeah. Wait, then that, you, you know why? Why? Because his fucking landlady, she's like, Are you gonna fucking pay me? He's like, I would, but these bitches won't fucking hire me because I'm a dude. He's like, Okay, I have this device. That device. lets you that lets you change your voice. Nothing more, There's nothing less. Like <laughs> so I'm going to teach you how to walk like a woman, dress like a woman. Oh, and by the way, just to make sure we're clear, you are wearing panties. <laughs> we're going full. We're going full out here. You're wearing panties, you're wearing the skirt, you're wearing the bras. Oh yeah, there you go, Mike. In case you forgot what the plot was. Yeah. It's all coming back now. Yeah. That poor kid. Kids. Well, I mean, that yeah, one specifically poor kid, that got taken but that out. one specifically who got taken out. I want to believe that he put him back in the pod so he can continue his lesson. We're just yeah. liars. We don't create the market for war. Don't hurt me. The Patriots are gone. Oh, Jack! How how little your world is. You're like yeah. a you're like a big fish in a small pond. War is just part of who we are. And now there's you're just in this ocean of fucking cyborg ninjas and other shit. Right. When the world ends, only war remains. Good old days after 9/11. Yeehaw! <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love that. It took until the later Metal Gear games to finally bring up 9/11. To be fair, MGS2 it, you had to airbrush it. out its one oh, reference. To be was fair. it wasn't it made around the time of? It was literally made around the time, and it was right there about to release, and then slightly after 9/11, and then it's like oh, and the thing is the finale for Metal Gear Solid 2 page, uh -huh. it actually had a scene where you remember Arsenal Gear that big ship? Yeah. It actually had a longer scene in the finale where you got to see more destruction of Arsenal Gear crashing in New York. Uh huh. There was a scene of it actually hitting. The Twin Towers, and all that shit. Like, literally, it just smacked into fucking everything, Paige. Okay, I'm trying to get over there. Okay, dude, just go up the stairs real quick. Go this way in the middle. The middle. Oh, okay. There you go. You don't, have, you don't have to run. You don't have to run. I'm impatient. No kidding. Like, just, just little strides. Yeah. There you go, Paige. But yeah. So, they basically had to cut the finale down a bit because it had way more destruction and death in the actual original finale. And that Kojima was just like, hmm, you know, this would probably be yeah. really bad timing. Yeah. Because yeah. this shit ha like, it happened side and side. So, the fact that they had such a similar scene happen in their game right as a tragedy happened. Just made people go like, hmm. Yeah, we gotta be smart with this. Yeah. yeah. Didn't they pull another game because of that? They or pulled some. They pulled a lot of things. Hell, uh, there's actually another game that a lot of people were like, "Okay, that's spooky," because it wasn't done for the reasons it was done. Okay. Okay. Uh, due to memory storage, the original Deus Ex uh, was originally going to have the Twin Towers in its game because it took place in New York, right? Okay. But due to memory store shortage, they're like, "Okay, fuck it, we'll take out the Twin Towers and then." Uh, they just went, they actually put like an in-story reason, it's like, oh, terrorists destroyed the Twin Towers years ago. <laughs> um, now, mind you, Day Sex came out a year before, uh, 9-11 happened, so... That was awkward. Yeah. 
Oh, and goddamn, another one. Um, it's still not as awkward as the Looney Tunes predicting 9-11. Oh, let's not forget, uh, Spider-Man, the original Spider-Man, actually had to cut out the Twin Towers entirely from the movie. And the commercials involving the Twin Towers. Jesus. Dude, back then, it's like, it was, after that happened, it's like anything that had the Twin Towers, we were like airbrushing that shit. So, uh, with oh, yeah, all that stop. being said... With all that being said, guys, we're gonna stop right here. We're about to do something really good, but it's gonna take a little longer than we thought. So, with that being said, leave a like, just like, comment down below, let us know what you think about the episode, subscribe, we always put out two videos every single day, and to always follow our social media, we have a link in the description down below. With that being said, mm, take care, guys. Have you ever thought about being an auctioner? Mm, I have, actually. You should think about that. Take care, guys. Bye. Bye.